Welcome to the reaction for Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. I think this movie is about Anakin, which I now finally know who Anakin is. Um, I'm assuming that since it's Episode 1 and the other ones are Episode 4, 5, and 6, this is a prequel, which is kind of what I thought, uh, but I wasn't really sure how it all fit together. So um, that's kind of what I know <laughs> from this. I don't... I don't really know anything that happens in the movie. I just knew it was about like the little boy who I thought was Anakin. And now I know who Anakin is. And now we're all caught up on what I know and what I don't know. So let's not waste any more time and let's go ahead and get into this. I actually don't know what the gap was, but I think this came out in like the 90s, right? Or the early 2000s. I feel like the late 90s. But it's nice that this is still pretty much the same. Okay. All right. So we've got two Jedi Knights heading out to settle this issue of taxation and trade and stuff and shipping being stopped to the planet of Naboo. Is that, was that right? <laughs> okay. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't sense anything. It's not about the mission master. It's something... I didn't know Liam Neeson was in this until I just went to go play it and saw his face. Don't center on your anxieties, Obi-Wan. Keep your concentration here. Oh, he's Obi-Wan. I forgot completely that Ewan McGregor was in this. The ambassadors are Jedi Knights, I believe. I knew it. This scheme of yours has failed, Lord Sidious. We dare not go against the Jedi. Viceroy, I don't want this stunted slime in my sight again. Begin landing your troops. Is that legal? I will make it legal. And the Jedi? Okay. Dioxys. They're just gonna hold their breath the whole time? Uh oh. Not survive this. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. In the first three movies, we really have only ever seen Luke, who was like in training for most of it. So we haven't like really seen what these Jedi Knights can like really do. That will hold them. Will it? Will it hold them? That's kind of cool. Oh, and now they have a shield. I'm sorry, they can move like that? <laughs> you were right about one thing, Master. The negotiations were short. <laughs> that they were. His queen, Amadala. Oh! Last, we are getting results. I think I forgot about her also. Your trade boycott of our planet has ended. I have word that the Chancellor's ambassadors are with you now, and that you have been commanded to reach a settlement. It's gone a little south, though. We would never do anything without the approval of the Senate. We will see. Hmm. That's really pretty. I have assurances from the Chancellor. His ambassadors did arrive. That's beautiful. I feel like this technology should be... Oh, they're disrupting communications, that's right. A communications disruption can mean only one thing. Invasion. Federation would not dare go that far. I feel like that's a really quick jump. You never have tech issues, ever? I mean, he's right, but still. I will not condone a course of action that will lead us to war. Level-headed. I like it. But this isn't looking so good. You don't have anything surveilling the, the skies. <laughs> and there is no trace of the Jedi. They may have gotten on one of your landing craft. Sounds like Elmo. Are you brainless? I spec 
The ability to speak does not- That sounds like Mario. Now get out of here. No, no, Mr. Stay! Mr. called Jad Jan Pinks! Mr. your humble servant! Uh, okay. I have heard that name. Oh, no! Excuse me, but the most the safest place would be Gonga City. Tis a hidden city. Sounds good. Can you take us there? On second thought? No. Not really, no. No. Then why bring it up? This is embarrassing. My friend might have been banished. Oh. This way. Hurry! That braid and the ponytail on him is really throwing me off. <laughs> We're going underwater, okay, day. I might warn you, Gungan's no liking outsider. Well, that's one way to do it. They just so happen to have those on them? Oh god, I hope there's nothing in this water. Oh, the city's in the water. Okay. I don't like underwater things. But this is cool. Please don't be anything in this water. Okay. That's cool. So good being home. Yeah, I feel like for somebody who was banished, you maybe should have like tried to hide at least a little bit. Okay, Stephanie Tanner. You shall cannot be here. A droid army is about to attack the Naboo. We must warn them. You and the Naboo form a symbiont circle. What happens to one of you will affect the other. You must understand this. We should know care about the uh, Naboo. Very interesting way of speaking. The speediest way to the Naboo is going through the planet core. Now, go. He said the planet core? Is that what he said? We need a navigator to get us through the planet's core. This Gungan may be of help. What is to become of Jar Jar Binks here? He seemed to be punished. Punished? He owes me what you call a life debt. You, sir, have no life play with this and his and? Uh huh. Sure do. Be gone with him! Interesting choice for this character. Better dead here than dead in the core. Ye gods! What are Misa saying? Do we really need, like, a plucky comedy relief sort of character? I'm not so sure we do. Why were you banished, Jar Jar? Miss, uh, uh, clumsy. You were banished because you were clumsy? Uh, you so mightn't be saying that. Okay. Oh, God. <sighs> Me suppose maybe one or two a little bit the accident huh? You'd say boom the gasser, then crash into Buster's hay blipper, then vanished. You guys need to be paying more attention. Hey, go with it! You don't take! Oh god, oh god, there's something way bigger. Is a bigger fish. Miss it think we going back now. That that's not reassuring or comforting. In this instance, it happened to work out. So much rather be in space than underwater. Queen Amidara is young and naive. You will find controlling her will not be difficult. Yes, my lord. I, I think it is gonna be difficult though. 
Losing power. Oh, no. That's great. Monsters out there, leaking in here, all sinking and no power? When are you so thinking we say- He didn't say it was leaking. He was in lost power. Power's back. Oh god! Oh fuck. Relax. Oh. You overdid it. Oh shit, there's something else. Oh god. Head for that outcropping. <laughs> oh boy. I was not expecting a lot of underwater scenes and monsters in this movie. This is supposed to be about outer space. <laughs> it's pretty. Nice droid. We have captured the queen. Minus all the battle droids. Victory. Captured her? That I feel like this happened very quickly. And we're back. Okay, at least we're on the surface. They are there. The Queen and I will sign a treaty that will legitimize our occupation here. I have assurances it will be ratified by the Senate. I will not cooperate. Now, now, Your Highness. That doesn't even look like her. We should leave the street, Your Highness. Guys, bomb I can only tell what he's saying about half the time. Your Highness, under the circumstances, I suggest you come to Coruscant with us. Thank you, Ambassador. But my place is with my people. I was saying, there's no way she's gonna leave. We are brave, Your Highness. If you are to leave, Your Highness, it must be now. That's Natalie Portman. Then I will plead our case to the Senate. No wonder she doesn't look the same. It's not her. She's in disguise. Right? That's how I'm supposed to take this? I'm ambassador to the Supreme Chancellor. I'm taking these people to Coruscant. Where are you taking them? To Coruscant. To Coruscant? Uh, that doesn't compute. Uh, wait, uh, you're under arrest. Okay. <laughs> the one that was just like still walking around. I sound like somebody's screaming. If you can't get the shield generator fixed, we'll be sitting ducks. The shields are gone. That little droid did it! Bypassed the main power drive! Deflect the shields up at maximum. There's not enough power to get us to Coruscant. The hyperdrive is leaking. We'll have to land somewhere to refuel and repair the ship. Air Master, Tatooine. Heard of that? You can't take a royal highness there, the huts are gangsters. If they discovered her- It would be no different than if we landed on a system controlled by the Federation. Was that in the original three? I feel like it was, but I don't remember what it was. There were so many new words. One double cruiser got past the blockade. It's impossible to locate the ship. Not full of Sith. <laughs> this is my apprentice, Darth Maul. Oh, I've heard of that too. This is getting out of hand. We should not have made this bargain. You think? Be wary. I sense a disturbance in the force. I feel it also, Master. Don't let them send any transmissions. So who's Liam Neeson's character? I don't think I've heard that name. His name. The Highness commands you to take her handmaiden with you. She's curious about the planet. I swear that was Natalie Portman in the first shot. Is she still actually the queen in disguise? I need parts for a J-Type 327 Nubian. My droid has a readout of what I need. There he is. Are you an angel? What? I heard the deep space pilots talk about them. They're the most beautiful creatures in the universe. They live on the moons of Diego, I think. I'm a pilot, you know, and someday I'm going to fly away from this place. You're a pilot? All my life. 
How long have you been here? Since I was very little. My mom and I were sold to Gardula the Hutt, but she lost us betting on the pod races. You're a slave? I'm a person, and my name is Anakin. I'm sorry. How's he gonna pay for all of this? I have 20,000 Republic dactaries. Republic credits are no good out here. I need something more real. Credits will do fine. No, they won't. It didn't work. No, they won't. I'm a Tidarian. My tricks gonna work on me. Only money. No money, mm. no parts. That complicates things. Yeah, no kidding. Do you have money to pay for it? Oops. Okay. Just leave him. Thanks, my young friend. But, but me said doing nothing. And still nobody paid for it. <laughs> You'll never reach the outskirts in time. Sandstorms are very, very dangerous. Come on, I'll take you to my place. Yeah, you're already getting blasted. These are my friends, Mom. Hi, girl. I'm Qui-Gon Jinn. Oh, I'm building I'm a joy. That name I don't know. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you 3PO. Oh, my boy. Is this how they meet? He's a protocol droid to help mom. Watch. <laughs> Where is everybody? I am C-3PO Human Cyborg Relations. I'm not sure this floor is entirely stable. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it's the floor, not you. R2-D2, a pleasure to meet you. I am C-3PO Human Cyborg Relations. I beg your pardon, but what do you mean? Naked. My parts are showing. My goodness. And so it begins. The death toll is catastrophic. You must contact me. It's a trick. Send no reply. It sounds like bait to establish a connection trace. What if it is true? And the people are dying. Which I feel like... <laughs> is completely... Possible. You have been well trained, my young apprentice. They will be no match for you. So already seeing this makes the episode of The Office where Dwight dresses up. <laughs> like that make a lot more sense. You're a Jedi Knight, aren't you? What makes you think that? I saw your laser sword. Only Jedis carry that kind of weapon. I had a dream I was a Jedi. I came back here and freed all the slaves. How did you end up out here in the Outer Rim? Our ship was damaged and we're stranded here until we can repair it. I can help. I can fix anything. I believe you can. But first we must acquire the parts we need. These junk dealers must have a weakness of some kind. Everything here revolves around betting on those awful races. I built a racer. It's the fastest ever. There's a big race tomorrow on Boonta Eve. You could enter my pod. The prize money would more than pay for the parts they need. Anna King. This kid is so sweet and cute. I may not like it, but he can help you. He was meant to help you. Okay. So he's entering the race, but Anakin's gonna drive it or pilot it. Trusting our fate to a boy we hardly know. The queen will not approve. The queen doesn't need to know. Yeah, but I mean, also, are you going to be any worse off if he doesn't succeed? And the boy tells me you want to sponsor him in the race. The queen may not approve. The queen doesn't need to know. I think she's the queen. Because they said also, like, oh, she's curious, like, about this planet. Which is why she's there on this expedition. If we win, you keep all the winnings minus the cost of the parts I need. And if we lose, you keep my ship. Okay, so he would be worse off if Anakin doesn't win. And yeah, that's, that's an awful lot of faith to put in this boy. What if this plan fails, Master? Well, it's too dangerous to call for help. And, and there's something about this boy. 
Let's see. I feel like you can sense it. The force is unusually strong with him. That much is clear. Who was his father? It's a little personal. There was no father. I can't explain what happened. Can you help him? I don't know. So that's like an immaculate conception kind of a thing? I'm in the boon race tomorrow. What? With this? It's never gonna run. Keep racing, Annie. You're gonna be bug squad. Get better, friends. What are you doing? Checking your blood for infections. Okay. I need an analysis of this blood sample I'm sending you. I need a midichlorian count. Over 20,000. Even Master Yoda doesn't have a midichlorian count that high. No Jedi has. Huh. Okay. So I wonder what happens to this guy, because he's definitely not around in episode four. The Sebulba there is going to win, I think. Why do you think that? He always wins. <laughs> so I know I said that the one in episode six reminded me of the, the opera singer or whatever in Fifth Element. But those really do. I wager my new racing pod against, say, the boy and his mother. No pod is worth two slaves, not by a longer shot. The boy, then. I just happen to have a chance, QB here. Blue, it's the boy. Red, his mother. You won this small tossed out lander, but you won't win the race, so it makes a little difference. Yeah, I think he definitely was expecting it to be red. What do you mean by that? I'll tell you later. My space travel sounds rather perilous. Means you better say goodbye to your mom. I can assure you they will never get me onto one of those dreadful starships. Oh, really? I'm sure you'll do it this time. Do what? Finish the race, of course. Well, not exactly. Not even finished? <laughs> Kitster's right, I will this time. See, that's the type of friend you need. But also, that doesn't sound great. <laughs> and maybe those are the details you should have gotten before you bet everything on this. I can't help but think that a lot of these things are not exactly, these like beings aren't exactly like the most aerodynamic or the lightest. Huh? I feel like a lot of this was put in here for younger kids who were maybe their parents were getting them into Star Wars or something. This is why he never finishes. This fucker. That is a weird way of walking. Use your instincts. I will. May the force be with you. Um, maybe, maybe give it a once over again. <laughs> Just make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. Nothing's broken. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know we were getting more job of a hut. You Jedi are far too reckless. The queen is the not- The queen trusts my judgment, young handmaiden. Does she? You assume too much. This is like a cool little thing they have set up here, like this arena or whatever. Racetrack, I guess. I can already tell I'm going to get way too into this. If I can follow along with what's happening, if I can tell which one's his. Like that, one good wind gust and it's going to mess them all up. Hey, he was in Harry Potter. Anakin, no, you didn't even 
get started. Little Skywalker is stalled. Achoo! Come on, buddy. Figure it out. <laughs> oh, okay. It seems weird to me those things are in the front. You'd think they'd be in the back. Come on, Annie. I feel like that issue at the beginning with it being like stalled or whatever is not the problem he's going to have as a result of Sebulba or whatever is him breaking that thing. There's going to be another issue, right? I'm sorry, there's people shooting at them now? <laughs> Fuck off, find something else to do. Where is Foster Anakin? Jabba's a dick. Look, here he comes. So he is still pretty far behind. Okay. Rebin's racing. Ooh, that was nice. Wasn't expecting like a drop off. You're all cheering? You got it. You can get it back. Repairing his ship as he's racing. That is awesome. <laughs> you fuckers. I don't care what universe you're from, that's gotta hurt. They kind of, looking at them, they kind of remind me of, um, what was it? Stretch, I think was its name. The one ghost in Casper. <laughs> Be careful, he plays dirty. What are you hitting? What are you, what are you hitting? Stop hitting it. <laughs> no. I just made my stomach drop. <laughs> Skywalker! Amazing! Now we just gotta hold the lead. Come on. Wow, his is so much smaller. Which might be why it can be faster. Is this one of the rides? Oh, shit. Because I feel like it should be... Fuck. His little goggles. And I'm not even a kid person. <laughs> I like the sound that they've made, that they're using for these things. They've done a good job with like the sound design on this. Did he hook onto him? He got stuck? Come on, you can get out of this. Break apart and rip his shit. <laughs> That's what you get. He was trying to give you a high five. He got denied. Aw, 
Oh, uh, that's a good touch where they did it, made his face all dirty on the bottom half because of all like the sand and stuff that would have been kicked up. That was nice. Mm. It's so wonderful, Annie. You have brought hope to those who have none. And now you're about to be separated from each other. <laughs> and he has been freed. What? Now you can make your dreams come true, Annie. Is he to become a Jedi? Yes. Our meeting was not a coincidence. You mean I get to come with you and your starship? Anakin, training to become a Jedi is not an easy challenge. But I want to go. It's what I've always dreamed of doing. And pack your things. I have on my star. Yippee! Has he pieced together that means he's going to leave his mom? Yeah, there we go. Is she free too? I tried to free your mother, Annie, but water wouldn't have it. You're coming with us, aren't you, Mom? Son, my place is here. My future is here. I don't want things to change. But you can't stop the change. Any more than you can stop the suns from setting. <laughs> suns, plural. <sighs> and apologies, because now I'm going to sniff for the whole rest of this movie. Ah. Uh. Oh. Hello, Master Anakin. I'm gonna miss working on you. I'll make sure Mom doesn't sell you or anything. <laughs> sell me? Bye. Peace out. It's been real, but I got better shit to do. You may be a future Jedi, but you're still a little boy with a mom right now, so say goodbye. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Annie. I will come back and free you, Mom. I promise. How does this little boy become Darth Vader? <laughs> so every villain has an origin story, obviously. And I feel like the thing that would take him from being this sweet little boy to Darth Vader is something happening to his mom. Uh, yeah. Wow, this is this is happening right now. I was not expecting this to happen right now. So he got lucky there. And a good Skywalker. Meet Obi Wan Kenobi. Hi. The death toll is catastrophic. We must bow to their wishes. You must contact me. Don't do it. They're going to be able to track you. Although Darth Maul already tracked them and found them. I made this for you. So you'd remember me. I carved it out of a poor snippet. I don't need this to remember you by. Oh, that's cool. I've called for a special session of the Senate to hear your position. I'm grateful for your concern, Chancellor. Yeah, he doesn't know where he's supposed to go. He wants to be with the Jedis. This looks cool. They did a good job with this. Our best choice would be to push for the election of a stronger Supreme Chancellor, one who could control the bureaucrats. You could call for a vote of no confidence in Chancellor Valorum. He's been our strongest supporter. I think we're going to have to accept Federation control for the time being. I do not believe the Sith could have returned without us knowing. Ah, hard to see that. Samuel L. Jackson is in Star Wars? We will discover the identity of your attacker. May the Force be with you. How have I never known this? 
I've encountered a virgins in the force. Located around a person? The cells have the highest concentration of midichlorians I have seen in a life form. It is possible he was conceived by the midichlorians. Midichlorian, did they use that in Parks and Rec? Yeah, I think they used it in Parks and Rec. To like trick a reporter. I'm on my way to the Jedi Temple to start my training, I hope. I may never see her again, so I came to say goodbye. We are sure her heart goes with you. Thank you, Your Highness. I'm so confused by this, because that's clearly her. Right? Or are they supposed to be like twins or something? A tragedy has occurred and has now engulfed our entire planet in the oppression of the Trade Federation. This is outrageous! The chair has not recognized a senator from the Trade Federation at this time. Naboo's system has been invaded by the droid armies of the Trade Federation. I object! There is no proof! This is incredible! You've already been told to shut up once. The Congress of Malastare concurs with the Honorable Delegate from the Trade Federation. A commission must be appointed. The point... Excuse me. She hasn't even gotten the words out. If this body is not capable of action, I suggest new leadership is needed. I move for a vote of no confidence in Chancellor Valorum's leadership. <sighs> he didn't deny it, he just asked. Now they will elect a new Chancellor. A strong Chancellor. You, perhaps? Your thoughts dwell on your mother. Afraid to lose her, I think, hmm? What has that got to do with anything? Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. And this all comes up when they bring up his mother. Senator Palpatine has been nominated to succeed Valorum as Supreme Chancellor. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. A true shock, I'm, I'm sure. Clouded this boy's future is. I will train him then. An apprentice you have, Qui-Gon. Impossible to take out a second. The code forbids it. Young Skywalker's fate will be decided later. Now is not the time for this. Go with the Queen to Naboo and discover the identity of this dark warrior. Okay. This is the clue we need to unravel the mystery of the Sith. May the Force be with you. I don't feel like we heard about the Sith at all in the first three, right? This is the first time we're hearing about them, like this movie. Qui-Gon, sir. I don't want to be a problem. You won't be any. So he's too old, but Luke wasn't? What are midichlorians? Midichlorians are a microscopic life form that resides within all living cells. Without the midichlorians, life could not exist, and we would have no knowledge of the Force. I don't understand. With time and training, Annie, you will. You will. But he can't have training. We are going home! Come on, R2. How's R2 going to get up on that thing? <laughs> it wasn't like a smooth ramp like a flat one. As soon as we land, the Federation will arrest you and force you to sign the treaty. I agree. There are too few of us, Your Highness. We have no army. And I can only protect you. You have whatever Jar Jar Binks is. His people. Jar Jar Binks. Lisa, Your Highness? I need your help. There's a nobody there. The Gungan city is deserted. Some kind of fight, Lisa thinks. See, now there's two. Damn it, I don't know what to think. When in trouble, Gungans go to sacred place. Lisa show you. Come on, Lisa show you. Take you to our secret village, our sacred place. I'll show you all the hot spots. Your Honor, Queen Amidala of the Naboo. See, that's not her. But wow, they do look a lot alike. We have searched you out because we wish to form an alliance. Your Honor, 
Usadis. I am Queen Amidala. Hmm? There we go. Laughing at Jar Jar. Also, like, bowing down. Meaning he's officially with them. Maybe we stop being friends. <laughs> I mean, yay, but why? Why is this character like this? We shall make you bombard general. General? I don't feel like he should be in charge of anything. The Federation Army is also much larger than we thought, and much stronger. Great. The battle is a diversion. The Gungans must draw the droid army away from the cities. There is a possibility with this diversion Many Gungans will be killed. We shall ready to do us and part. Okay, so they know. They know they're the diversion. I don't love these two costumes here. They're very hokey looking. It takes you, like, out of the moment. This will work to our advantage. I have your approval to proceed then, my lord. Darth Maul looks pretty badass, though. Okay. Once we get inside, you find a safe place to hide and stay there. Sure. Stay there. So he's not going to stay there. Not the best cover position. I feel like he's definitely going to get in the ship. <laughs> he's a pilot. With R2, of course. This is about to be real bad. <laughs> oh, those are cool. Yeah, there's about to be a ton more. Whew. They're walking in a straight line, just mow them all down. Oh, they, that, um, great shield if they can just walk right through it. Jar Jar, just, just go lay down somewhere. We don't need you in this. Anakin, stay where you are. You'll be safe there. But I... Stay in that cockpit. So he's definitely not going to stay in the cockpit. All of them against him, though? We'll handle this. We'll take the long way. Okay. Yeah, he's going to protect her. Oh, it's double-sided. So Darth Maul is legit if he's taking on two Jedis at the same time. Or at least a master and an apprentice. Nope. Wait, here it is. No. Well, sort of, yeah. There we go. Except you're, you're, are, y y you're going to fly out. <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah. This is cool. They've done a good job with this, like the set, the choreography, the music. Like the trick would have been to get them while they were still in midair, like before they landed, just swipe them both. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> Anakin, you need to get your ass back on that planet. Yeah. Go back? Qui Gon told me to stay in this cockpit, so that's what I'm gonna do. You know that's not what he meant. <laughs> Stay in the cockpit <laughs> on the planet. Don't fall off another one. Is 
So do we lose him here? And that's why I've never heard of him because I really genuinely have never heard of this character. What's happening? I don't know what's going on. Ah, shit. There's the shield. But they're already inside it anyways. Oh, but you just released them all. <gasps> Not the sound I would have thought those made. They sound like rubber bands. Everything's overheated. Oops, this is not good. No, it's not. That's why you should have just stayed your ass where you were. Is he gonna get thrown down in that hole? He's gonna watch him die. Yep. Don't, don't let in the anger. Now what? <laughs> He's like bouncing like, all right, hyping himself up. <laughs> like what fighters do. Which, I mean, he is fighting, but I mean like MMA fighters <laughs> and boxers. Ooh, that was close. And he's doing all that with those like flowy clothes. He'd be tripping over everything. Well, well, where's the other guys? Qui Gon or whatever his name was. Yeah. There seems to be a problem with the main reactor. Impossible. I mean, I feel like this is going to be good overall. But you need to get out of there. Let's get out of here. <laughs> no, Anakin did it. Oh. Call it to you with the force. Yeah, I was going to say, you can jump up there. I knew somebody was falling in that thing. Oh, it cut him in half? <laughs> That's awesome. Also, I thought he was around longer, though. We are indebted to you for your bravery, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And you, young Skywalker. I bet you will. I gave Qui-Gon my word. I will train Anakin. <clears throat> it's weird rooting for him when you know what he's going to become. Agree with you, the council does. So it begins. Officially. <laughs> There's no doubt the mysterious warrior was a Sith. Always do, there are. A master and an apprentice. But which was destroyed? Really? Okay, duh, that makes sense. So he is a Sith then. Okay, I got it. That I, I was thinking there were like two of Darth Maul's like, Two soldier, like foot soldier type things, but he's the master. Okay. On the same page. <laughs> Look at him in his little outfit. Oh, with his little braid, of course. His little rat tail, as we called it in school. What is that? That reminds me of those static electricity things from like the... Well, I would say the 90s because that's my childhood, but I'm pretty sure they were around before that. I liked it. I was honestly a little concerned about how much I would like it, considering we obviously don't have any of 
you know, that we don't have like the main three or whatever from the first three movies. So I was wondering like, would I even care? Would I care about any of these characters and what was happening? And I'll, I'll have to be honest, like at first I kind of didn't, although it was interesting, like knowing that this was Obi-Wan and like that he was and still an apprentice and stuff. So that was nice. I mean, we technically had some like carry through from one set of movies to the next. Um, but still, yeah, I kind of didn't fully care all that much um, until Anakin came in. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't I'm not a kid person at all. But but he's adorable and he won me over and he made me care. Yeah, I mean, I, I got into the action and stuff and eventually the story, because at the beginning, too, I was kind of like, I'm not I don't know that my brain's in the space to care about what's happening, like with these trade deals and stuff. But I got there. I got there. It just took me a little bit to get into it. But it leaves me really excited to see Anakin's journey. Because I want to know how he gets from <laughs> this sweet little baby angel who needs like protected at all costs. Um, but also apparently doesn't need that much protection um, to, to Darth Vader. Like how, how do we go from here to there? I think it has something to do with his mother. Um, I feel, I don't know if, if Natalie Portman's in other movies, like I don't know if the queen's in anything else or if she was just in this one, but they seem to have a special bond. And so if she is, in it, I wouldn't be surprised if their bond like carries through. But again, I don't I don't know if she's in any future movies beyond this one. Um, and I don't I don't want to know. But again, if you're watching these on YouTube, I've already seen all the movies. Um, so you don't really have to worry about spoiling anything. But people on Patreon, <laughs> you're watching it along with me. So um, which I know that, you know. But yeah, no, I I thoroughly enjoyed this one. Um, and it, it makes me excited to see what's to come. And I was not sure when I started this movie, if that was going to be the case, I wasn't sure if I would continue to be excited, uh, now that we, you know, we have these, the newer movies, but thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> All right. That is going to wrap up this one. If you're watching this on Patreon, thank you so much for the support. If you're watching this on YouTube and you want to catch up with those on Patreon who got this reaction probably at least months ago. Uh, and they do get the full reactions and watch along style, which means you do need to provide your own copy. But I have timers and stuff to make it as easy as I can to sync up. Um, you can click the link in the description below to join us over there. And if you want to hang out here on YouTube, that is totally cool. Just make sure that you click the subscribe and notification buttons so that you don't miss the next one when I react to the next movie. And hopefully I'll see you in that one.